Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. And this is another... This is another hip-hop informational video. I'ma talk with y'all about... I'ma probably create a series for these videos because... There be a lot of people that be talking about saying that, like, the South destroyed hip-hop. The South is not hip-hop this. The South is not hip-hop that. And the reason why I'm thinking about doing a series for these videos is because when it comes down to me being a rap artist, I'm a rap artist from the South. I'm from the NC. I'm from the dirty South, North Carolina. So, yeah, I, 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 I was... Yeah, th in this video, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know about some of the facts because I see that the video that I did where I was breaking down the truth about hip hop in the Carolinas, I see that that video had got some pretty good views. I mean, whenever y'all get the chance, yeah, let, let's keep running that video up. Let's keep blowing that video up. The video that I did while I was breaking it down, the truth about hip hop in the Carolinas. But this video is going to be different. Now, this is a state. This is a well, well, this is a city. This is a city that's in the dirty south. This is a city that's in the state of Georgia. Georgia is the dirty south. But when it comes down to a city like this, this is like a city area. And a lot of people be getting it all confused, like talking about saying that like like everything in, in the South is country. You got some city areas in the South. Just because somebody is from the South does not mean that they're necessarily country because you do got some city areas. But I just want to let y'all know. I wanted to let y'all know about some of the facts about hip hop and the ATO. My, my 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 fellow my my fellow rappers that are from the ATO, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the com Ooh, excuse me. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Because again, a lot of people be saying that the South destroyed hip hop. A lot of people be talking about saying that Southern rappers are not lyrical. It's just a stereotype, but I just want to let y'all know about some of the facts about hip-hop in the ATO. What I want to let y'all know is that when it comes down to the ATO, ATO is known for, like, a lot of talent, but when it comes down to the ATO, ATO is not really known for, like, having lyricism in their area, but I wanted to do this video to let y'all know that there are, like, lyricists that, that are from, like, the ATO. You got killed. And I even mentioned this in my video where I was breaking down the truth about hip-hop in the Carolinas. But when it comes down to the ATO, when it comes down to Atlanta, Georgia, in the ATO, you got Killer Mike. You got T.I. You got Jaron Benton, which Jaron Benton, he's an independent artist. Jaron Benton, he was a part of of funk volume which yeah like at the time that was the label that him and hobson were signed to together but you got bob you got um you got a uh, yeah you well some people may say that two chains is a lyricist some people may say that two chains is not a lyricist me personally I feel that 2 Chains is a dope rapper, but I wouldn't really say that 2 Chains is lyrical the way Killer Mike is. Like, when it comes down to the ATO, Killer Mike is more lyrical than 2 Chains. He's more lyrical than T.I. Like, I mean, T.I. is lyrical, and B.O.B. and Jaron Benton, they're lyrical, but I honestly feel that Killer Mike is more lyrical than all those guys, but... Yeah, when it comes down to to the ATO, like the ATO, Atlanta, Georgia, when it comes to hip hop, there is a bunch of talent in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, like I said, I wouldn't really say that Two Chains is a lyricist, but do I feel that Two Chains is a talented artist? Yes, Two Chains is definitely talented. Am I a fan of Two Chains? Yes, I am. But yeah, like. The ATO is, is, is known for like a lot of 
is is known for like a lot of black culture but it seems like when it comes down to hip hop they're not really known for like rappers being lyrical like when it comes down to a lyrical rapper like Jaron Benton I think like with Jaron Benton the artist that influenced him I don't even think he he even has any like rappers that influenced him that are from the ATO but there there is a lot of talent in the ATO I mean ATO Atlanta, Georgia has more popularity than North Carolina. Like, North Carolina, just like the video that I did while I was breaking it down, the truth about hip-hop in the Carolinas, North Carolina is in the Dirty South, but there's a lot of, like, lyrical talent in the in the Carolinas. We honestly feel that North Carolina has more lyrical talent than any other southern state. There's more lyrical talent in North Carolina than there is in Mississippi, than there is in Alabama, than there is in Louisiana. I mean, in Louisiana, you got little, you got little Wayne and you got mystical. But when it comes down to like Birdman, Master P, I mean, Birdman and Master P, they're both bosses. They're both CEOs like Master P, CEO of No Limit, and then Birdman, CEO of Cash Money. Like, they're both bosses. They're both CEOs. But are they lyricists? No. No, they're not lyrical, but... Yeah, North Carolina is is the southern state that has like the most lyricist. But yo, yeah, there there's a bunch of talent in ATO. Am I a fan of any like artists um that are from Atlanta, Georgia? Yeah. I'm a fan of Killer Mike. I'm a fan of Run the Jewels, which is the rap duo that kill that um Killer Mike is a part of. And like I just said, I'm a fan of Two Chains. I'm a fan of Ti. I'm a fan of Bob. I'm a fan of Jaron Benton. Am I a fan of YF and Lucci? No, I'm not. I'm 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 not really a fan of YF and Lucci. Like like I said, I'm all about real hip hop. I'm all about lyricism, but. That's some of the facts about the ATO. When it comes down to the ATO, when it comes down to Atlanta, Georgia, it seems like ATO is not really known for having like a lot of lyricism. But anyway, I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all. I'm going to probably be doing another video too, breaking down some of the facts about another southern state. I'm going to probably do another video breaking it down about some of the some of the facts about hip hop in Miami. But yeah, anyway, don't forget like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. Love y'all.